should feedback meet the GMC requirements completely to be included in a medical appraisal? From Mythbusters at www.rcgp.org.uk You will have many sources of patient and colleague feedback, both unsolicited and formally requested. The guidance the GMC has on developing, commissioning and administering patient and colleague questionnaires specifically applies to the solicited patient and colleague feedback which is required once in the five-year revalidation cycle. Other feedback does not have to meet this guidance. Some of the most compelling feedback is not anonymous. Some GP roles do not have enough patients or colleagues to meet the numbers required by the feedback tools including representation from across the whole of your scope of practice in one survey can sometimes work and provide helpful feedback but some roles are so different that this may make the results hard to interpret the rcgp recommends that feedback is sought across the whole of your scope of practice in ways appropriate to each context and recognize that sometimes this means that some feedback will not meet the gmc requirements the main solicited patient and colleague surveys from your clinical work normally undertaken once every five years, should be GMC compliant. Other feedback does not need to be GMC compliant. You should make sure that any feedback included in the portfolio is appropriately anonymized, which will involve presenting data that is difficult to anonymize separately to your appraiser, or redacting it if you wish to include it. The priority is to include your reflections on the feedback, any lessons you have learned and any changes you intend to make as a result, in your portfolio. If you are in any doubt about the best way to collect and reflect on feedback you should seek advice and support from your appraiser at an early stage. Where the method that will generate the most meaningful feedback is not fully GMC compliant, it is wise to agree that it is appropriate for your circumstances with your appraiser and your responsible officer before undertaking the survey. From Mythbusters at www.rcgp.org.uk for further help and support, please visit Medical Appraisals at www.medicalappraisals.org.uk.